We've talked quite regularly about Death Stranding on the YouTube channel, guys, and something that I wanted to talk about in this segment of the show was Death Stranding and, and just all in all, you know, some of the hate behind the game and some of the absolute praise that the game has gotten in the past, I wanted to kind of talk about you know, my feelings about Death Stranding and kind of the legacy it's going to leave now, especially because of the recent reports that Hideo Kojima and Kojima Productions are now moving into Silent Hill. They're going to be working on the Silent Hill game that all of us have been, were waiting for. And now it's been reported that, of course, Kojima and Konami are now pretty much working together. They're all good. And Sony at the helm of it once Silent Hills made because of the uh, how many people, of course, want to see that that game brought out, right? We all we got was PT, which was playable teaser, which was the Silent Hills demo, essentially, and now people really want that game. Well, anyways, we probably won't see a Death Stranding two for quite some time, um, and. I want to talk about this because I think Death Stranding deserves to be a game that is revisited. Like, I think it's a game that needs to to come back at some point. Uh, Death Stranding 2 would be absolutely massive, but I want to talk about just Death Stranding as a whole right now. And I've said before on the show that Death Stranding is a walking masterpiece. Now, a lot of people say that Death Stranding was just a walking simulator. I call it a walking masterpiece because I think, guys, that a lot of people just didn't appreciate what Death Stranding was as a whole. They might have, like, appreciated, like, the graphics or they might have appreciated the different, you know, characters in the game or the actors who were playing as those those characters and... I think there were things about it that people liked, but I think there was a lot of things within the game that people just didn't like. They didn't like that you had to balance your character as you're picking up different pieces of, uh, you know, as you're, you know, carrying different, you know, packages and such and delivering them and and kind of reconnecting the world. Um, But I'm going to say this. This is a game that is an accomplishment unlike any in recent memory. Now, the the last game that I can really think of that was like a ma- like just an unbelievable um, accomplishment in gaming was actually Legend of Zelda: Breath of the Wild, which is the segment that we just talked about before this one. And I think that the Legend of Zelda: Breath of the Wild it kind of really put a spotlight on The Legend of Zelda. Even though Zelda has been a very popular game over the years, Breath of the Wild is what just almost made it completely explode as a franchise, and now everyone's talking about the second one, and everyone's excited about it. So Death Stranding, guys, I feel is something similar to this. This this feeling like, not that it, it, it exploded in a different way, whereas everybody was like talking about Death Stranding for a period of time. And so... What I think is that I, I think it's a it's a huge accomplishment what they were able to do because if you really think about it, when you're talking about a game kind of like Death Stranding, where you take this leap of faith, that being Sony, take this leap of faith on this single player experience. There's nothing else other than the single player experience. We're gonna be talking about, you know, hopefully the future of that if they would add more experiences like multiplayer and co-op to a Death Stranding or a Death Stranding 2. We'll talk about that here later in the show, but as far as just in recent memory, Death Stranding accomplished something really special, and that is that this walking simulation, even though I didn't really feel it was like a simulator, I felt like you are connecting the world in a way in these times, which are extremely divisive times, obviously, in our country. Now, obviously, our countries had to come together during the pandemic, but... If you think about before, obviously that wasn't around when Death Stranding was released. So this concept of working together to bring the country back together or, you know, kind of reconnect everyone. The timing was impeccable for Death Stranding. The amount of just visuals and the character development and the world around you was just it was spectacular, absolutely spectacular. It was a it was a spectacle any like any guys that I have played in a, in a long time. I, I mean, really, when you think about it, Death Stranding was a very special game, and it's close to my heart. And I'm really excited about a, a potential sequel, even though it'll probably be down the road. 
Now, the other thing I wanted to talk about were like DLC, potential DLCs and such for Death Stranding. There's, you know, things that have been teased. Are they going to have more, you know, a bunch of DLC come out or are they just going to leave it as it is and then they're going to move onwards to uh, Silent Hills, that being Kojima Productions. I would love to see continuations of it. Part of me thinks that other game modes were, would be maybe better for Death Stranding, kind of like co-op modes and like a multiplayer mode or like a world building mode. I've always thought that those would be something really interesting uh, for Death Stranding. It was kind of kind of be reminiscent of like of Minecraft or something. I think that would be really interesting, like building your own world and like your own servers and such. I thought that that would be really cool. But the amount of hate that Death Stranding got because of this totally different concept. I think down the road, guys, we're going to be looking at Death Stranding as one of those pivotal games. Like, I mean, you know, we were talking in the last segment about people talking about Le The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild being one of the greatest games of all time, not just of 2017, but all time. I think that Death Stranding down the road will be viewed as potentially just that. A great one of the greatest games ever made because of how different it is and how much of a of a story really is entwined there and like I mean you don't really get a lot of that um, amazing character development and and voice acting skills the game direction the graphics and the visuals and all of that you don't get a lot of that stuff all in one game a lot of times you do sometimes but Death Stranding gave you all of it. The only thing that Death Stranding didn't give you were other game modes outside of the campaign. And so that would be its one flaw. But you could say that about The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Now, Breath of the Wild obviously had some DLCs that were added on, but no multiplayer, no co-op. So Death Stranding is right there in my opinion. I just don't think people realize it quite yet. I think people look at it as a game that was okay. Some people really liked it. Others didn't really like it at all. And so it was a very almost divisive game, but it almost is, it almost like symbolizes something like our society. There was either, you're either really into it or you're really not. And it's like, you're one way or another, you're right, you're left, you're what, you know, and this game just put all of that, it put all of those different emotions and such into one game. And that was why I think this is an accomplishment unlike any in recent memory. I believe that we will one day look at Death Stranding and say, yeah, that was something very special. And hopefully Hideo will go back to Death Stranding 2, go back to the drawing board, continue moving forward with another game, Death Stranding 2, but hopefully add some other game modes. I think that would be really special and really awesome in my personal opinion. But I love to hear from you guys. I know you guys have given me a lot of, you know, what you think about Death Stranding and, and a lot of you ha don't like it. Some of you do like it. And others actually think that it is, w are with me saying that it is an absolute masterpiece. So I want to hear from you guys though. Other games that you think have accomplished something really special. In recent memory, I say Death Stranding, you know, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, but Death Stranding really is something special to me. Um, I just think that it's it's so different. Not like, you know, all these other games that you have coming out each year. It's very different, and I think that there's something really to be said about, about, about Death Stranding um, as far as its accomplishments, you know, in, in, in recent times. But let me know what you guys think about that in the comment section below. And for more Death Stranding and Death Stranding 2 content and videos, stay here with Zero TV.